Printing leaves is a really fun project you can do with the kids in the spring or the summer. I like this project because it starts with a nature walk. The best leaves for printing are ones that have raised veins. The place you're looking is on the back of the leaves, which is the part you'll be printing. Except don't make the mistake I made at, by touching poison ivy. So make sure you and the kids know what poison ivy looks like. You could even get your supplies ready before you go for your nature walk, so you'd be ready to get going when you get back. I like to use really colorful paper, so I get a good quality construction paper or cardstock, and I cut it in half and in quarters. Fresh leaves work best for this project, but if you can't print right away, put your leaves between sheets of wax paper under a heavy book. You'll need something to roll the ink out on. You could use artist palette paper that comes in pads like this, or I make my own palette with freezer paper that I wrap around a piece of cardboard. You also could use a piece of plexiglass or glass. Block printing inks work best for this project. I use Speedball brand, but I'm sure there's other brands out there. The difference between using paint and ink is ink is thick and sticky and it's going to transfer all those little veins that you're trying to print with the leaves. A brayer and a palette knife are useful. A palette knife for mixing the ink and collecting the ink when it gets spread out over the palette. Wax paper and a plastic spoon for applying pressure when you're printing. A couple additions you might consider. First is an ink retarder that keeps the ink workable longer so it doesn't dry up as quick. And the second one is an ink extender, which I've actually never used, but in my research found out you can use it for making the inks transparent and also just to keep them workable. Okay, I have my paper handy and I'm going to start with my hot pink ink. You squirt out about this much, not a ton. I work a little bit at a time. I'm going to mix it up. And at this stage, you could mix in your... Um, ink retarder. Now you're going to load the brayer with ink by rolling it back and forth in both directions until you can see the ink is evenly distributed around the brayer. I'm going to put my leaf with the back side up onto a piece of wax paper. It's good to try to roll in one direction or like from the center out because the leaf wants to stick to the brayer. And if you just roll back and forth, the leaf rolls up right onto the brayer. So, you know, I held the stem and I rolled it out straight. Um, with kids, you gotta, you know, maybe get your hands in there and hold the leaf a little bit for them. Now I'm gonna flip that leaf right onto my um, paper here, hold it with one hand and cover it with wax paper. And here's where you can use the back of a spoon. You know, with kids, once again, you don't want them to push the uh, leaf around and get like a smudgy wiggly print. Now the leaf sticks to the paper so I can flip it over and rub the back, you know, with a flat hand, that helps. Here I'm just testing my colored ink on my paper. This is always a good thing to do when working with kids because sometimes they pick ink colors that just don't show up on the colored paper. So I'm inking my leaf again. You can reuse your leaves, but they get a little, um, you know, they can tear easily. So if you have enough leaves collected, go ahead and use a different leaf.
I love using gold or silver or white ink on black. It makes really dramatic prints. Oh, and by the way, this technique works fantastic on fabric, um, like a flat weave broadcloth. You can also double print two different leaves with two different ink colors. You just want two inks that contrast, like this pink and black. Be sure to collect a lot of leaves and have a lot of paper handy uh, because once you get started, it's really hard to stop. And I love using these for greeting cards. I just take my half sheet of cardstock and I'm gonna mark it in the center of that and using a ruler and a sharp blade, I just score it. This is something you learn in art school. This is not cutting all the way through the paper, it's just sort of scratching it, and then it'll fold nicely along that line. I like my leaf print to be slightly smaller so I get a really nice border around it. And you just mount these with, you know, glue or um, a two-sided sticky scrapbooking mounting paper. Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks so much.